Hey everyone, it's Neil Patel for another Q&A Thursday video. I'm here with Adam from Viewership. Hello everyone. And this week's question is? This is from Cal, and he said, Hey Neil, great video as always. I have one doubt, when you use the same article from a blog on LinkedIn article or something else, does Google see it as suspicious, like a duplicate content? Well, thank you for asking that question, Kayo. Here's the thing with duplicate content, and we're gonna explain how duplicate content works, not just for Google, but social media as well. And we'll give you a few different scenarios. So first off, if Adam here creates content on his website about YouTube marketing on viewership.com, and I take his content and I put it on my website, and I link to it, but let's say I take his whole content verbatim, and heck, let's even go as far as saying I'm not gonna even link to you, Google will know because he published it first, and they're not going to penalize me, but his content's going to rank higher than me. Now, if I take snippets of his content, and I have a blog post about YouTube videos, which I do, and I reference Adam in quite a few of my YouTube articles, and I link to him, and I'm taking paragraphs from his blog, and I link back to him, YouTube doesn't mind. They'll still rank my article and his article. They don't care so much about duplicate content. They more so care about the user experience. So if you're just jacking someone's content and you're taking it word for word and you're not providing any other value, you're not gonna get penalized. You just won't rank that high for that article. They'll look at each and every single individual page. Some will rank really high, some won't. But the ones that you just take the content, they won't do that well. So don't waste your time taking other people's content or scraping it. But if you wanna integrate their points into your blog post and link out to them, because there's no point in regurgitating the same information, right? Don't reinvent the wheel. Link out to other people who've already done the research, have the stats, provides more credibility for you as well. You can do that, there's no issues there. Now with social media, some of you guys wanna do duplicate content where you take your content from your website and paste it all on LinkedIn. A strategy that David invented for us, and this strategy worked really well and we're still doing this today, um, I used to take my blog content and put it all on LinkedIn verbatim, and that used to create engagement, and it did really well and created tons of engagement. But what we found is we weren't getting tons of conversions because people from LinkedIn weren't going back to the site and they weren't converting. So at David, we started running experiments internally. He would take the first three or four. How many paragraphs did you take, David? Just the introduction. introduction Just the introduction sells the rest of the article. Yes, yeah, so he uh, took the introduction. As he mentioned, the introduction sells the rest of the article. And he always took the introduction and he put at the end of it, click to continue reading, and it drove traffic back to the website. Not only, yes, it's duplicate content, Google didn't care, we still ranked well on Google, but we're generating traffic from LinkedIn, and more importantly, we're generating conversions, right? Sneaky. Traffic without sales doesn't matter. Now, if you're releasing content on social media, videos, uh, audio clips, and you're just putting them on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, whatever it may be, put them everywhere. It doesn't matter if the text is the same, the videos are the same. Even though there's overlapping in audiences, you'll find that you'll get more viewership in general by just putting the same content everywhere. And we do that. We put our YouTube videos on YouTube, right? When you compress them and you set them up and you optimize them for us. You put, we do YouTube, we do Facebook, and we do LinkedIn. And funny enough, YouTube does really well. Facebook's does really well, but we've been getting more views than anywhere else right now on LinkedIn. Because LinkedIn, even though we have less followers on LinkedIn, they lack video content, so they're pushing it harder than any other channel, and they're doing free marketing for us. So make sure you're pushing out your content everywhere. Social media doesn't matter on duplicate. Now, if you wanna take that same video and audio content that you put on social media sites on your own website, like neilpatel.com, Yes, you'll get engagement, but you probably won't get as much engagement as you will from the social sites. And you'll find that the video content that you put on your own website and the audio content that you put on your own website, even if you add in the transcriptions on your own site, it won't get much Google love. So you can do it for engagement, but don't do it for Google love. And what I do is I put those videos and audio files on my website, but I block them from Google indexing because I know that they're not gonna rank that content anyways. Hmm. So that way it doesn't dilute my site and make it weaker. So that way my content pages rank higher, stronger, and my overall authority throughout my whole site isn't getting spread to pages that I know Google won't rank well. That's interesting. Just, I'd be curious on your opinion of what we do. So I, I create videos for both my companies, put on YouTube, and then we have a writer 
take the main points of that and extrapolate it and make a totally different article and a longer article for SEO. I'm curious, would that make sense to do? That works really well. Uh, I don't know if you're doing this, but I would do that plus take the video format and embed it into the articles. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Yeah, and that works really well. Right. And use a different headline for the title yep. than you, what you're doing for the video. That's exactly it. Yeah, so they're taking at least my content, my ideas, and then just really and turning it into like a 4,500 you know, yeah, that works out great. Because right. then you can add in the keywords, it flows even if you don't have the video, right. plus adding it, you're accomplishing you know, the visual and audio aspect as well as people who just want to read the text. It sounds like it's all about user experience, ultimately. That's it's right. It's like if it's good for the user, it's good for Google. You know? Yes. Right. But they rather not rank videos on your website, they rather rank YouTube, which is a property that they own. By adding your videos to your website, your time on site increases, your user metrics go up and you'll find that your overall Google rankings will increase. But the key is not to just have videos on your site, it's text, as Adam was mentioning, and embed the videos. So then that way people watch videos on your website, plus read the text, the time on site increases, user metrics go up, which overall increases your rankings for your whole site. So thank you guys for watching. If you like it, make sure you subscribe, share the video. If you have a question for next week, leave a comment below. We may answer it Reading in another- every single one of them. Yes, we may answer it in another Q&A Thursday video. Or worst case, we'll at least, or I'll at least, respond to your comment and answer the question.